Greetings, Parade Watchers, and welcome to a new history video. As of today, we'll be looking into a classic character balloon dating back to the time where he was so beloved in the early days. All the way from the Pride of Minnesota, it's Jay Wards' Rocky the Flying Squirrel and Bullwinkle J. Moose as they both appear as giant balloons together in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Before we get to Bullwinkle's pal, Rocky the Flying Squirrel, later on in this video, we have to start up in 1961, where Bullwinkle made his Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade debut, and he was wearing a candy cane striped bathing suit on Thanksgiving Day. But it seems weird at first, but he's not the only giant character balloon to wear a bathing suit in the parade. <coughs> the Pink Panther. <laughs> And as always, like any other character balloon, he had two major accidents. One was at 1971, where he was grounded due to the extreme winds and rainfall. And his major, major accident in 1982, where his nose was somewhat punctured by a tree or lamppost, causing him to be removed from the parade. And he was skipped in 1982. But as of 2023... Some of Bullwinkle's televised appearances are considered pieces of lost media as of right now, but the only broadcasts that we have in terms of YouTube are 1976, 1981, and 1983. Who would go out on a day like today dressed only in a candy striped bathing suit? Bullwinkle, that's who. The Mighty Moose is the last of the blockbuster balloons. You know, you might be interested in knowing that despite numerous requests from all over the country, the giant balloons we saw today appear only in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. As soon as the parade ends, the balloons are deflated, packed away in boxes, and sent to Goodyear's plant in Rock Mart, Georgia. So long, Bowwinkle. See you next year. Okay, Regis has joined me down here at Herald Square. There's your pal, Regis. That's right, Ed. And the report came into the police station quite early this morning. The voice was excited and quivering. Still, the words were clear enough. Somewhere near Central Park, a giant moose has been spotted wearing a bathing suit. But for New York finest, the call didn't cause the blink of an eye. From that description, who else could it be but the big guy himself, Paul Winkle. Every Thanksgiving morning, he puts on that bathing suit of his and goes for a little morning swim. So he'll be looking fresh and nice to greet all the people along the parade route. Happy Thanksgiving to you, big boy. television i think this is probably the first time for, or certainly in a long time you've seen it in person those uh, floats are really something aren't they i tell you i can't get over how big they are and how they glide right through these uh these enormous in between these enormous buildings they look really going into a canyon and disappearing it's, it's really spectacular it's, i just love it yeah he's just made the turn at 34th street and uh, those handlers have to really be on their toes to keep everything going Thanksgiving Day. Look who's coming behind them. Bullwinkle. Somehow the big fella didn't quite make it all the way down Broadway last year, but this morning he is leading things off as the first of the great balloons. And you know what? He's making his 23rd appearance now in the Macy's Parade. We saw him a little bit earlier. He was having problems down on Central Park West with uh, winds that I guess are gusting up to 10 to 20 miles an hour. But right now he's making it here in a big way. Big star in every sense of the word.
Only NBC shows it all. Dancing from Broadway's The Tap Dance Kid. Direct from England, the city of Coventry Drum Corps. And a smash song by Ashford and Simpson. All coming up. After 1983, the original Bullwinkle Balloon was retired after making a total of 23 appearances. And yes, that would still count 1971 and 1982. Macy's has all kinds of jeans, the best in the business, but our favorite jean at Macy's... Jean McFadden. We love her. She knows the way, too. Great news, Bullwinkle's making a return for this year's special parade. Oh boy, I like you. After 13 years of absence, Macy's decided to bring back Bullwinkle to celebrate the parade's 70th anniversary. But this time, he was brought back as an all-new balloon. This time, that doofy old moose decided to take out the candy cane striped bathing suit and decided to wear a What's the Matter You sweatshirt. And joining him for the very first time is his grand old friend, Rocky the Flying Squirrel with Universal Studios Consumer Products Groups as their sponsor. Not only Bullwinkle came back to celebrate the parade's 70th anniversary, but he was also named Macy's Holiday Ambassador of 1996. All right, Bo. Hey, Willard. Yes, ma'am. you see what I see? You got it. It's a bird. It's a plane. Now, wait a minute. Would you believe a spinning for color beating cap? It's perched between the antlers of the beloved Bullwinkle Duke. And what a thrill it is to welcome him back to our parade. And for the first time ever, with his pal, Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Now that's what I call a dynamic duo. And famous too, Willer, J. Ward's Rocky and Bullwinkle are provided by Universal Studios Consumer Products Group. At 68 feet in length, Willard, even his arch enemies, Boris and Natasha, would be impressed with this Bullwinkle. Get that squirrel off my back, kitty. Bullwinkle has been called the finest example of the North American quad. As Rocky says, Bullwinkle has more brains in his little finger than he has in his whole head. Think about that, friends. Next, the Lawrence brothers, Joey, Matthew, and Andy, plus everybody's favorite feline, Garfield the Cat, when our parade continues here on NBC. After 1996, they were retired. Until they came back two years later in 1999 to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Rocky and Bullwinkle show and the promotion of the live-action animated hybrid motion picture, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, set to be released in the summer of 2000. What Macy's had to do was to add more balloon handlers in order to fit the two utility vehicles to help control. Since 1998 marked the new rules for safety concerns, and Rocky and Bullwinkle were still eligible to fly in the parade based on the size and height of the balloon. Katie, now you're ready to celebrate another anniversary together again for the second time in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Jay Ward's Bullwinkle gives a moosey back ride to his flying friend Rocket J. Squirrel as they celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Rocky and Bullwinkle show and they're furnished by Universal Studios and they are classics. Moosey back ride. Like Cute. it? Yeah. And next summer Bullwinkle will make his silver screen debut in the live action animated motion picture The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Our dynamic duo will definitely need some handlers if they're going Hollywood. Right now, they've got 50. In fact, there are 1,000 Macy's employees just handling the balloons in today's parade. You know where Bullwinkle went to college, don't you? Oh, yeah. What's the matter you? Exactly. They're proud of him there. I think his pal Rocket, or Rocky, said it best. Bullwinkle has more brains in his little finger than he has in his whole head. And here at Waukesha, Wisconsin's North Star Band as they march south on Broadway with... The Rocky and Bullwinkle Balloon would make their final appearance in the New Millennium Parade in 2000 to promote the whole media release of The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. However, Rocky the Flying Squirrel ended up being deflated overnight during preparation. 
Since it was a chilly and cold parade, so Bullwinkle had to travel the parade alone. Flying down Broadway on an antler and a prayer, more daring than Siegfried and Roy, funnier than McNeil Lair. You know they were funnier? Yes, folks, it's the pride of Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, Bullwinkle J. Moose, furnished by Universal Studios. Even his arch enemies, Morris and Natasha, have to be impressed with this guy. He is taller, Al, than two telephone poles. That's tall. Once again this year, the Mighty Moose's sweatshirt proudly displays his alma mater, Wasamata U. But lest we forget, guys, this nut happens to be a graduate of MIT. You know MIT. Yeah. The Moose Institute of Toe Dancing. And by the way, to those who think he's just a doofy old moose bullwinkle points out he's the finest example of the great north american clod <laughs> After 2000, the Rocky and Bullwinkle Balloon was retired. So a total, the Rocky and Bullwinkle Balloon managed to make the mandatory appearance of three, which Rocky the Flying Squirrel had to make it to the parade two times. Which, if you combine with the previous Bullwinkle Balloon, Bullwinkle would make 26 appearances in the parade's history. Now, as Rocky and Bullwinkle could find Boris and Natasha on their next journey, our next character is a blue, huggable monster that lives in the most famous street, and he's also a superhero.